Hey, uh, I want to talk about a few things. If the noise outside is relentless, just put yourself in my position for a second. Uh, put it in. Put yourself in my position for a full minute, actually. So, somebody invented a human brain in a laboratory. So we have human heart, human liver, human brain. I know we have human skin cells and kidneys, maybe. I think they're going to build a person. Actually, they're going to grow a person. The person is going to grow itself. They're going to create the environment for which it to grow. It's kind of exciting. I, uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. I was just thinking about something. I keep thinking about John Kerry. Um, I'm, I'm trying to trying to stay positive, you know. The uh, I saw this video where these dudes were loading this big blue rocket into like a mortar, and apparently that was a chemical weapon or something. But there was no proof that it was a chemical weapon. Like all these all this hearsay about chemical this and that. I mean, you know how I feel about that. It's it's kind of misleading. Um, but, you know, on a brighter scientific note, man, I totally had something I wanted to talk about. Let's see. I'll remember. Um, we got our human brains. You know, your space-time dilation, where production is uh, increasing. The rate of production is going up and up and up and up as time is increasing to a point where you have something like this. And we're about like right here. It's gonna go with you. But I think what's happening is as we start to print, you know, production increases, scales up, and then all of a sudden we have uh, mass production it takes on a new meaning. Oh. It's a nice day. They, they're shooting a movie outside, or they were earlier. They're also doing construction. You know, Rockaway Beach got pounded. Um, I'll show you this. I think you've seen it right out here. Here, this is what it is. Oh, this cord's a little short. That's like my door. And that's the shaking of my hand from the caffeine and the coffee I had earlier. Coffee. Coffee's magical. You know when they... Uh, went into that second industrial revolution or that second the renaissance basically they uh it was when they started drinking coffee instead of beer for lunch um so they're, they're since rockaway got pummeled by hurricane sandy they're rebuilding and they put millions and millions of dollars into this place but you know we got some a good deal on rent and it's just like it's been construction week i'm not going to complain because they're they're doing good things out there the first time I lived in New York, there was a lot of construction, too. I moved into Astoria in Queens, and I, I lived in this little closet, 600 bucks a month. And right across the street, they were building a school. But the entire year I lived there, every day during the week, they were building a school. It was fucking horrible. Horrible. I kind of got my room set up. Take a look. I bought that bookshelf and it's too small. Hey, do you want a, a copy of my book? You should buy one on Amazon. Go to create space, createspace.com and pick up a copy. I'll put a link in the description. I also got this new phone. It's the Android uh, Galaxy S3. And I bought it and then immediately found out there was an S4 and uh, psychologically just kicked the shit out of my cerebellum. I was so mad. Oh, yeah. When, uh, you know, they say, like, find balance, right? What I think a translation of that is when you clear your mind, literally, I think you're clearing out channels and pathways in your brain for blood to flow because I'll feel like the tension involved with clearing my mind is, like, the sides, you know, your temples and, like, behind your temples and it relaxes and it's like this tightness kind of like opening forward 
And uh, as it happens, the blood flow in the cerebellum picks up and like you can flow blood easily from your cerebellum down your neck into your heart, stomach, chain, chest. And when that happens, your balance gets better. Your cerebellum is your center of balance. So a big part of clearing your mind brings balance in spiritual, psychological, and motivational ways. So do that. Also, I want to go to Bhutan. Bridge to Bhutan. If you've ever been interested in going to the country that deals with uh, a currency of happiness, I believe it is the only country in the world that measures its gross national happiness. Go to Bhutan. And if you want to get in touch with the guy who does this, uh, you would email info at bridge to Bhutan.com. That is right here. Oh, camera and your autofocus. Anyway, info at bridge to Bhutan.com. There's the info. He's super cool. I met him at Wisdom 2.0 in February out in San Francisco. And I'm going to go to Bhutan. And we're going to get some cameras and record some monks and meditate on a mountainside in the snow or in the non snow. Other than that, um, I have these jeans, which you may or may not have seen. I really like them a lot. I don't know why I should do back of them just then. And life keeps getting better.